All right, get ready for the magic candle on the Famicom. Yep, that's right. Now, originally, Magic Candle was a game for, like, old PCs, Apple computers, and it was, um, an RPG. But it looks like, somehow, it made its way to the Famicom. We don't ask questions. We don't really, uh, ponder what's going on in the minds of Sammy Corporation. But what we do ponder is whether this game is worth playing or not. So I'm going to put five minutes on the clock, and we're going to see if I like this game or not. Here we go. Um, uh, okay. Oh, I have to put my name in. I see. Put in some random letters. Why not? Yeah! Oh, I forgot. It's, it's a Famicom RPG, so I won't be able to read it. Well, let's just assume that there once was a magic candle and its its wick was stolen by the evil wizard Stankifer. Oh, go, oh, the, ooh. This looks a lot like Dragon Quest. It really does. Looks like the Dragon Warrior and Dragon Quest games on the NES. Okay. Bling, bling, blah. Bling, 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 blah. You're getting all romantic. Great. Um, I believe they are having a brawl, though, because you know he won't take her for uh, a walk in the park. Uh oh, oh! You did not want to take her for a walk. You shall be slain. Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah, fifth. You have 15 days to live. And if you want to live, you must go and rescue the candle. Now, this game came out in 1992. It certainly doesn't look like a 1992 anything. Nineteen eighty-two, it would have been impressive. Nineteen ninety-two? I really think they could do well. And what's the deal with the various lengths of brick on the uh sides of the screen there. It's weird. Anyway, a boat is coming. Are we ready? Chapter 1. Go and get <laughs> supplies. I don't know. I can't read that. And I don't even pretend to read that. Actually, I just did. Okay. Do we get to play? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm a level one, HP, MP, gold experience. Okay, well, what do you say? Oh, oh, go oh, oh, gosh. Oh dear, uh, I don't even know how to open the door, but you'd think that by 1992 you could just hit a button and the door would open. Music's kind of dry. He seems to have enjoyed whatever item I picked. Oh no! And somehow I've triggered an evil wizard who uh, loves the number seven. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh. No! My, my pastor friend. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Now we're getting into battle. Take this. Wah. Oh dear. Oh great, I've already failed. This is the hardest RPG ever. Well, I seem to be alive still though. Oh thank goodness you're alive! I was worried. Hope the pastor's okay. Well, all right, great. Great. Well, he seems to be in a talkative mood, so that's a good sign. Can I take what's in the chests? Did he say I could do that? 
Oh, I guess not. Oh. Oh, yes, yes I can. You got something. You got something else. How do I leave? Is there a stairway out or a door? Oh, well. Um. Oh, that, that was the way? Oh, I did not know. I guess I literally did not know the way. But anyhow, my five minutes are up, and I think... Uh, having played this for a bit... Oh, 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 I got into a battle with a weird melted vinyl. I mean, I get what it is. It's a, it's a turn-based RPG. Yeah. I think the biggest issue is not that it wouldn't be fun, because, I mean, I like RPGs like this. But I think that unless I could find a translation, um, I think that I would not uh, be able to play this all the way through. So, uh, my yay or nay would be uh, reliant on a translation. But as it sits right now, I don't think that I could continue playing it. So, unfortunately, it's a nope right now. Unless I do. Wait a minute. You know what? Why don't we do a little research? Ooh. All right, let's actually do that research. Let's see if there actually is a translation for the Magic Candle. And the best place to look is actually romhacking.net. It's a good place to find translations, so let's take a look. Hmm. Let's search for Magic Candle. Let's see what we get. Oh, look, there actually is one. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, yeah, this is a complete translation patch for the NES RPG The Magic Candle. Despite the name, it is not really related to the PC game series of the same name. Aha! I said that earlier, and it still holds true. Okay. Oh, and here, here's a translation of that intro. Uh, once upon a time, in a faraway world, a battle raged between the Holy Knight Emmerich and the King of Destruction Glory. It was Emmerich that triumphed by sealing Glory's soul inside a candle, but his spirit was thrown into another dimension. Ages hence, the world of Fern enjoys a fragile peace. Well, my translation wasn't that far off. Maybe a couple of little syntax errors here and there, but otherwise, just fine. Okay, so it would be playable. So here's what I'm going to say. If it was translated then I would definitely keep playing it. However, because this is the Crucial 5 and I have to play the original version, unfortunately, uh, it isn't that accessible to somebody who cannot read Japanese, such as myself. So unfortunately, it is a nope. But hey, if it was translated, it would totally be a yeah. So there you go. Unfortunately, it's a nope for me. <coughs>